We're at 401 North Market Street. I'm with Kat and Chris, and we are talking Troy Fest. Yes. It's back around again. Year four. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, here yeah. we go. I mean, what started as a celebration yeah. for my late husband is now a full-on music festival. That's awesome. Raising money for music education for Frederick County. Yeah. And this year is bigger and better than ever. We have some great things. Um, Liquidity Ale Works of Mount Airy and Old Mother, which is just two, a few blocks up here. Yeah. Old Mother Brewery just started brewing our beer in honor of Troy called All For Troy. Okay. F-O-R-E. He was a golfer. Okay. And that'll be ready August 28th. Very our nice. Our event is a week later, uh, about a week later on September 7th at the AMVETS post to the farm, right near Tree Trekkers. Yeah. And that's a huge venue. It has a huge covered pavilion, lots of parking. We bring a huge stage. We have bands starting at noon from the Rock School, the Frederick Rock School. They're a great partner with us. Mm -hmm. And then we lead into more adult bands. We have the Dirty Middle playing, which is a great local Frederick band. They do like blues, rock blues. Mm -hmm. Then we have, um, Lots of rock school bands. Black Locust came out of the rock school. Okay. They are amazing. These kids are young, like 19, 20 year olds, and just putting it out there. Yeah. Then we roll into um, Voodoo Rocks, which is another Frederick favorite, and they do grunge 90s covers, and they have a great following. And then we end our day with Jaw Works. They're okay. our headliner. So we're yeah. ending with reggae. We get a little bit of everything at Troy Fest. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's back up a little bit. Let's mm -hmm. talk about your husband a little yes. bit. Um, let's go to the very first Troy Fest. Yeah, and the let's very talk first about Troy him. Fest. He had a lengthy illness and mm. you know, we were fortunate in that regard to be able to plan and talk about things and he died at the end of um, December in 2020. He passed away and we had always said, you know, and I had always said, you know, when that time comes, I'm having a big party for you. Yeah. And he was full on. He loved his beer. He loved his music. Our son's a drummer for the rock school. And we had been working with this nonprofit, Rhythm Changes, since my son was six. And he's 15 now. Yeah. So um, they kept us playing music all during COVID. And we were at all these breweries in Frederick that were doing outdoor music. And it kept us going. Yeah. So um, when Troy passed away, you know, I called Chris and I said, we have to plan a party. But because of COVID, it has to be outside. And she said, what about AMVETS? Mm. You know, the farm. He loved it there. We did shows with the rock school there. Okay. And with Rhythm Changes. Yep. And it was, it was perfect. Okay. And so that's where we started. Year one was invitation only. We had great food trucks, great bands represented from the, um, the Frederick Rock School and Rhythm Changes. And they wouldn't let us pay them. Aww. And I said, what can we do? And it was such a great event. Everyone said, please do it again. And I said, let's start a music scholarship. So we started the music scholarship in Troy's name. Mm. And it can be found at rhythmchanges.org, Troy Suddeth Music Scholarship. Yep. And um, we started the scholarship in year two. We started adding some sponsors. You know, I didn't even know what a sponsor was <laughs> or how I did. And, and, right. um, and they came through for us. Yeah. And, um, and each year it's just grown. Last year we added vendors, we added the breweries, we added liquidity and old mother. Um, what else did we add last year? Games. We just made it a real festival. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So this is year four. And what was nice during the event last year, people came up to me and said, how can we be a part of this next year? Oh, cool. Billy and Keith from the brewery said, we want to make you a beer. Oh, very so nice. sponsors came to us this yeah. year. Yeah, and um, so when yeah. they make the beer, what does that mean? Do they sell it here at Old Mother, or are you just having it at the event? Um, probably both. Okay. Yeah, they will be selling it on tap at the event, but you can also buy it in cases, in cases you or know, probably packs. four, packs, four packs, however they're gonna, yeah. you know, put it together. But yeah, the beer will be, be ready to go and um, it has a link on the label for rhythmchanges.org so people awesome. can learn more about what we do. I mean we really do keep kids playing music yep. and the goal of Troy Fest and what we added this year is to help pay for music lessons, music camps, um, if someone needs an instrument. So we this year we added the college scholarship. Very nice. And the applications were due August 1st yep. and we're reviewing them now and we'll present the first recipient of the Troy, Troy Suddeth Music Scholarship this year at the event. So this will be the first the one first you've given? The first actual presented yeah. in public. Nice. Yeah, we've been giving money to help yeah. pay for things 
quietly yes. um, for families in need, but this is the first, you know, this was like every year, what do you want to do with it? And I'm like, I want to give back to college money. Yeah. It's so expensive to it get is. those kids yeah. out there. And so we've got some great applications that we're reviewing. Cool. We've and been talking about yeah. it every day on the show oh, and awesome. getting people to apply if they're interested or let kid, you know, yeah. families know that this is available. Yeah. So how much will the scholarship be? Do you know? It's $500. $500. Okay. And they can apply that to whatever they need to fill right. their gas tank to buy books. Right. But the, the other option or the other thing that they'll be receiving is Omega Sound Studios in Rockville is donating recording time. Oh, wow. So this is a music scholarship. So we wanted the applicants to be Somehow studying music involved, in some right. capacity. It didn't mean they have to be going to a music college. Right. But, you know, whether they were just creating music on their own and taking a few years off or, or however. And yeah. we have some amazing applications. And they had to be a Frederick County resident. Yeah. Because what we raise goes back to Frederick County. Yeah, we yeah. love that. So yeah. tick. Tickets for Troy Fest are available online. Mm -hmm. How much is it to go? Um, Eventbrite, we have a link at Troy Fest 2024 if you search that. Right now, tickets online are $10, okay. so that's a discount. At the gate, it'll be $15, okay. so you make a savings. But we also have a four pack that you can buy right now online for $30 plus, of course, fees. So I think it comes yeah. out to $33 for four tickets. Okay. So that's a deal. It is a deal. Yeah, we want to make it you know, a family-friendly day as far as what they experience, but also in their wallets. Yeah. You know, to yeah. walk through the gate and spend $60 before you've even bought a drink. Right. Or played a game or, or bought a t-shirt. Right. Yeah. So, right. and um, that was really important to me. Yeah. yeah. Well, buy those tickets at a discount. Mm -hmm. Take that extra money. Take it to Troy Fest because there's going to be a lot of ways for you guys to continue to give back to Rhythm Changes. We did interview uh, Brandon. Yes. Uh, earlier, you know, when the show started, and um, yeah, I think it's a it's a great uh, great opportunity for people to give back. We really keep kids playing music too, and with Frederick County, you know, fighting to to keep music in schools, mm. we're all with that too because after school. You know, kids want to do sports, they want to take lessons, and that's always the first thing off the table yeah. when people have to cut back on expenses. Sure. And everything's, yeah. you know, crazy expensive these days. It is. So, it yeah, is. we're all about just helping out the community and giving back. We have great vendors. Um, where, who are the food trucks this year? We have Blue's Pizza, we have Smitty's Barbecue, mm -hmm. okay. and we have Pita King. Okay. Yeah, so a nice All right. variety All for are everybody. All anxious to come and work with us. And we're excited <laughs> about that. What was the attendance last year? Do you know? Last year we had over 500 throughout nice. the day. You know, the capacity of the venue is probably 660-ish. Okay. But people come and go all sure. day. Sure. Because, you know, the kids' bands are playing, so families will come and spend a few hours. And then as the night goes on, you know, with the more prominent bands, sure. people come from as far as, I had a gentleman call me from Baltimore the other day, and he said, I love Jaw Works, and I saw Troy Fest on their event schedule, and my daughter's name is Troy. Oh, and wow. And I told him about it, and he's like, I'm coming. Oh, this is very great. cool. So yeah. that feedback, I think, keeps us going. The local restaurants are doing a gift card raffle featuring local restaurants in our area, and they've been so generous. So we're still collecting gift cards for that. Okay. We're going to be picking a gift card winner every hour, um, you know, and then we also have our Capital One tickets. So we have VIP ticket packages for Capitals and Wizards. So that's parking, all you can eat, all you can drink for four. You pick the game. We also have a signed Capitals um, hockey stick, uh, a signed Tom Wilson jersey. Now, are all of those things raffled, or are they silent auctions? Those are raffled, oh. yeah. So we do one big pot, and we pick five winners. And oh. those will be picked um, the week after our event, so September okay. 14th. But those tickets are selling now. Yeah. 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 So Very we have cool. great raffles that people come back for. And if they can't make the event, they can still buy raffle tickets and they can still buy beer. Oh, well, <laughs> there you go. That's right. All right. Troy Fest. Make sure you check Eventbrite, get your tickets. It's going to be a great day with tons of live music all day long. It benefits a great cause and helps kids right here in Frederick County. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you.